We are here today to discuss the Zika virus and its impact on California, on the state of California. Um, I want to say thank you in advance um, for all the panel and for each and every one of you for making yourselves available here this morning um, to weigh in on this discussion, uh, this healthcare crisis as I call it, um, the Zika virus. Um, in today's hearing, we will begin to have an overview of the Zika virus and its effect on the health. We will also talk about information on the public health response to the Zika through the state, more specifically in Los Angeles County and the 64th State Assembly District, which I'm happy to represent, how we can help prevent the transmission um, to others and control uh, the mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus. The Zika virus has recently become a hot topic of discussion due to the outbreak of this disease um, in Central and South America, the Caribbean, Miami, and Florida. Um, the Nation's Center of Disease Control Prevention have released the travel warnings uh, for pregnant women and their partners as the disease can affect and develop in the wound. Uh, many are concerned about the, the virus and what um, and it affects it will have on the unborn child. Uh, by holding today's hearings, we hope to spread accurate, updated information and answer any questions that anyone may have um, as it relates to the Zika virus. For those of you in the audience, we will have an opportunity um, to um, ask questions um, after um, the presenters pre um, present. Um, then we will open up for public comment at such times so that everyone can get involved. Uh, this is an informational hearing, um, an official hearing of the state, and we want to make sure that um, individuals have an opportunity to weigh in, um, answer and address any, any questions you may have, any concerns, or any rumors that may be out there that we have uh, the practitioners, the specialists, that can address those particular um, concerns and questions. I also want to recognize um, um, my team for help putting this together. Can you just do me a favor? Can you give Team Gibson a round of applause for working so hard? Uh, Dr. Renita Pope, who works on my team, who helped put this, this hearing together. We appreciate her and all of her hard work that she has given um, towards this. And I was, in, I was very correct when I said Dr. Renita Pope. We're very happy to have uh, such a well-educated um, young lady on um, my team. We also want to recognize the, the individual who provides leadership day in and day out to Charles Drew University of Medical Science, uh, Dr. Carlisle with us. So let's give him a round of applause and thank him for joining us this morning as well. And then also we will be remiss if we did not acknowledge the presence of someone who's provided leadership to the Watts community um, day in and day out. Um, she really needs no recognition. She's trying to find her seat right now. Please help me welcome Dr. Sweet Alice Harris. Um, we expect some other elected officials to join us. We will be um, recognizing those elected officials as they enter uh, this room. We also recognize that uh, this auditorium, um, this is the last time that we will be able to gather in this place. Um, so mark this time in history, chronicle it, because this building will be demolished. We will be the last hearing um, in this particular space. Um, and so we're very grateful because I remember so many fond memories of community meetings in this room, heated debates, arguments um, that provided great leadership and great directions um, to our community. And I speak of someone who grew up in this community. I am a son of Watts, a proud son of Watts, also attended and provided health care services. Um, um, I didn't, but the hospital provided health care services to my family. Um, and Martha King, back in the day, uh, my father who had health care insurance, uh, my mother who had a heart attack at home, um, could not get across town to Cedar Side and I, but was able to get to Martin Luther King Hospital. And Martin Luther King Hospital, uh, with the skillfulness of the doctors who were well qualified and skillful um, in their craft, saved my mother's life. And so this hospital will always be some uh, hospital in which I will remember um, it being in our community and providing services to people who need it the most. And so, uh, again, we're very grateful for being here um, and very grateful for you taking the time out of your busy schedule.